Hi there. So, do you get overwhelmed seeking for the right instruments to add to your set? Or is this your first time you're buying instruments and you're really overwhelmed because like, what do I choose? How do I know what sounds good together? You don't need to worry. This is something that I love. It's my passion and I do this free of charge for you. I help you find instruments that will create your own little symphony orchestra. So here's an example of a setup that I just created today. It was like, oh, let's go to the music room, see what I can do and have some fun. So we've got this beautiful gong stand. The, it's super easy, it's like two minutes to take apart and I'll make another video to show you that. But the beauty of this is I can add arms. So right now this gong stand has one arm on this side and one arm on that side. So I can hang chimes here on that side. I can hang a gong. You can hang whatever you like. I put a Japanese rim gong right back here. And what happens, I'm talking backwards. What happens is as the gong above it spins, the sound, there's a sound cham chamber underneath with that Japanese rim gong. It just makes the sound even more delightful than if it was sitting by itself. So all of these sounds harmonically go beautiful together. I'm going to play it for you. And if I were doing a sound bath, I would play in a totally different fashion. Right now for this video, I want to play quickly through the instruments so you can see how they go together. But when you are actually offering a sound bath, you're ready for yourself, your family members or clients, you're going to want to go a lot slower. Um, you want to uh, embrace the silence in between each time that you play. Let the gong go out into pure silence. Let the chime go into pure silence. Let people soak up the sound and soak up the silence. Because that's what's the healing is getting the person into that deep relaxed state and just calm. So let me just play so you can hear how all this goes, remembering that this is not how I would do a sound bath. Okay, and then we'll chat afterwards. Now, I suggest take off your bracelets. This is my third take, because on the first two takes, my bracelet hit something and it made a noise that wasn't nice. So always make sure you have no jewelry on. And okay, let's have some fun.
I don't know about you, but I thought that was so cool. Can you imagine that spread out over half an hour, 45 minutes to an hour? So let's talk about what we've got here. So here we've got the 32 inch wind gong. Depending on the mallets, you're gonna get different sounds. So this is a very big, thick mallet. This is the F3 fuzz bucket. It dampens all the super high sound waves, so we just hear the real deep low tones. These are the resonant small. They allow the tiny high waves to go. And depending where you play on the gong, it's going to give different sounds. Let's just stop this beautiful baby. Okay. Here we've got this is a Sparam, is the name of the company. It's from India. Awaraville is the um, place, it's a sound exploration center where they are making the most exquisite musician quality instruments. So this swinging chime is called Water. And then I picked out two tingshas that sound beautiful with this. And the way I set them up is the highest one are the two that are in tune and these two are a little bit out. So if you heard, that one's really in tune. That's just a little bit off. Now, I can take these off. That's the beauty of this. So I can just slide this off if I wanted, and then I could walk around the room And use my tinctures this way. If I want to take the swinging chime off, I'm just going to slide it off, hold it, and now I can walk around the room and swing this around the room. If I want to spin, I've just added an extra little handle so I can hold this and then spin it around the room. Because every time you add mo movement, sorry, every time you add movement to an instrument, the sound travels differently than if it was just stationary. Now, just to show you how easy this is to take apart, at the end of your event, it's time to go home. You're gonna untwist, pull this out, that's it. Do the same thing to the other end, untwist the top, remove your top bar, untwist the bottom, remove your bottom bar, you're ready to go. That simple and easy to take the stand apart. Now on this side, let's take a look at these instruments. Here's my sticker. Oh, yeah. So this is a 16 inch chow gong. Chow has the curved edge, wind is flat. So chow is a bit more reserved. It doesn't um, let the high tones sing as much. And again, I just hung this up by a little string because when I play the gong, here's my mallet, here we are. When I play it still, that's one sound. When I spin it, Now I chose to put the Japanese ring on right underneath it. You can put it wherever you like, 
but I thought this was kind of nice because now this just changes a little bit of the sound. I've got like a little echo chamber down here. I could easily have left this gong out here and play it here. Totally different experience. Neither one is right, neither one is wrong, it's just different. And this is the Japanese Rin Gong, and just beautiful, carries that beautiful deep tone. It came with a different mallet, but I love to use the medium soft mallet because it's not creating a startle, a beautiful soft tone. So again, now it's time to pack up. Take this off, untwist, arm comes out, and actually, I'm going to show you how I take the gong off too, just so you know, because I know when we get people in the store, they're very intimidated, like, how am I going to take this to a, um, a venue? So as soon as I stand up, my head's cut off, but you know I'm still here. <laughs> so. Literally, super easy. Take the gong off. And then, here, let me go on my knees so I'm still on the camera. Check this out. So super fast. I undo, undo, one, two, one, two. My pull is out. I like to keep these right on here, so I'll just tighten this up. And tighten this up. Now, go to the bottom. Loosen up. Loosen up. I can see you're all panicking. Is it going to fall into the crystal bowls? I'll just keep this here. <clears throat> One. Two. I am done. So now I get to my event. I need to set things up. Oh, let me back up for a minute. So we don't have a bag for all your stand parts. So if you know someone who's handy, you can just sew a nice little cloth bag for it. You can wrap it up in a blanket if you like. But when you get your event, we can, t I'll, I'll time this later, but let's see how long it takes to set up. I'm gonna pull up my one, put it in my bottom bar. And I'm even doing this, I would recommend, recommend you as a beginner doing it this close to your crystal bowls. I've done this so many times. I'm gonna take the chance, but normally I would not. There we go. Put this one in. One, two, one, two. Only thing you have to make sure when you hang this is that your hooks are down, not up. So pop this one in here. Uh, just loosen this up. There we go. Pop in here. Loosen these up just so that they'll fit in. There we go. Yep. One, two, one. Two. Yep, pulls in there. One, two. I'm curious to see how much time this is. I'm gonna check this afterwards. So then, I get my gong. You'll lose me for a second, hang on. Hang up my gong. This string would be cut off. I'm not cutting it just in case it's going on another stand. Let's set up all the way. Pop in this arm. One, two, because you know, you have to think about this. If you're going to different venues, how much time are you spending setting up? So now I've got my two little tinctures. Slide them across. Got my swinging chime. Slide that across my next two chimes. And if you have the tinctures, all I did was two little strings here. One, two. 
make sure I can spin this so it's not touching. Perfect. Let's hop to the other side. Pop this arm in. One, two. We can put hooks in your arm like we have there. Personally, for myself, if it's a small gong, I prefer to hang it up with a very strong cord with several knots at the top, just so that I can do the spinning. And cushion to sit on. I am ready to rock and rumble and just help everybody get into this awesome space with my sound now. So this is really great easy to put together, easy to take apart, it's lightweight, and right now everything sounds stunning together harmonically. So this set will be for sale, but as soon as it's sold, it's gone because all the sounds are unique. Um, I hope to be making more curated sets. If I don't have anything on the website and you have seen this video, by all means give me a call. I love doing this. If you've got one gong, I could recommend other gongs, or if you want to incorporate crystal bowls and Himalayan bowls, or you want a hand drum or a flute, anything. If you want to create a beautiful symphonic orchestra of sound healing instruments, I'd be happy to help you do that. Okay? So, oh, one other thing, if you hang been on this long, something else that we've just got this year are the Bear Love Friction Mallets. And if you've not heard these before, Oh my gosh, they take playing to another level. So I'm just gonna show it to you. What they are is, it's a special type of rubber. They're handmade in England by a gentleman named Bear Love. It's almost no pressure and all you're doing, so you can see I hold my hand like this, all I'm doing is gently rubbing the mallet across the surface of the gong. I can feel it, but you can't hear it yet, but I can hear it here. Depending where you play in the gong, going to be different sounds. Depending on how you're holding it, different sounds. You can incorporate your other instruments with it. This is the two, four, six essential set. So it's two centimeter, four centimeter, six centimeters. The four centimeter is going to be higher. The tiny one, different sounds whether you hold it part, well, let's like, say one third, half, and near the end.
personally love using this F3. It's a dragonfly mallet made in Buffalo, New York. I love using that afterwards, after I use the friction mallets, just to ground me back down. So anyways, this is an awesome setup, stand-wise and orchestral-wise, and I hope you enjoyed it. And Theo, are you coming to say hi now? Theo, come here. Come say hi. Yeah, hi, babe. Come here. Come say hi to everybody. This is Theo. Yeah. Say hello, everybody. Yeah, usually um, Daisy comes to visit us, but he didn't. Y'all done? Okay, bye, bud. All right, so have yourself a great day, and I uh, hope you learned something today. Talk to you later. Bye. You're still staying with me, are you?